You're with the hard facts from the CNN News 18 Federal Bank Primetime Studios. Viewers, just as the NDA got down to work, the RSS chief and the RSS both began a process of reflecting on the verdict delivered by the voter. The RSS manthan, so to speak, follows an agonizing post-mortem that has been going on in saffron circles since result day, June 4th. The party led by Modi, who created history by equaling Nehru's record by returning to power in an alliance for an unprecedented third consecutive time, is clearly not happy with falling short of the standards it set for itself. The RSS chief, Mohan Bhagwat, has offered a reason by seeming to indicate that the Saffron Party, led by Narendra Modi, may have got afflicted by hubris. Bhagwat pointed out that a person committed to serving the public never puts himself above and beyond the call to duty, and especially not beyond the aspirations of the voter. While it's not clear, viewers, exactly who he was addressing, the Prime Minister, BJP Kader, or a combination of both, or perhaps, viewers, the opposition, many people have chose to interpret this as a direct message for the BJP. Listen in for yourself. काम करे लेकिन मैंने किया ये अहंकार न पाले तो हम इस देश की सच्ची सेवा कर रहे ऐसा होगा और अपने देश को हम सब लोगों के सच्चे सेवा की आज आवश्यकता है और विश्व को भी आवश्यकता है As Bhagwat was making his dispassionate observations another senior RSS critical thinker and author Ratan Sharda was weighing in with his own opinion in the hallowed pages of the RSS magazine The Organizer Sharda who is known to speak his mind feels that the BJP cadre was overconfident which bred a sense of complacency He also rightly writes that several senior BJP functionaries, especially a number of MPs or members of parliament, had become unapproachable. He writes, and I quote him, results of the 2024 general elections have come as a reality check for overconfident BJP karyakartas and many leaders. They didn't realize that Prime Minister Modiji's call of 400 plus was a target for the BJP and a dare to the opposition. Targets are achieved by hard work on the field, not sharing posters and selfies on social media. Since they were happy in their bubble, enjoying the glow reflected from Modiji's aura, they were not listening to voices from the ground, unquote. That is Ratan Sharda for you, viewers. And I apologize for putting the wrong photograph there. That was not supposed to be Mohan Bhagwat, that was supposed to be Ratan Sharda, but nonetheless, viewers, you get the drift. That was the honest assessment by Mr. Ratan Sharda. The brutal, honest feedback can only do the BJP a world of good. The RSS view should serve to bolster the conclusions that the BJP draws from its own honest examination of the poll debacle. Committees have been set up in different states to affix accountability. Judging by the past ruthlessness of a system that exalts no one, expect heads to roll at the organizational level very soon, viewers. But then, the BJP is a party that is run like a corporation, where the only responsibility is to the shareholder, which, in the BJP's case, happens to be the voter, happens to be you, viewers. This is in direct contrast to the Congress that famously buried the A.K. Antony Committee report on the debacles it has suffered because the findings came close to indicting the leadership. The leadership in the Congress is, of course, a euphemism for the Gandhis themselves. While the party has done better despite the report, it didn't succeed in dislodging the BJP, even though Modi was facing 10 years of anti-incumbency. But if you thought, the Congress is smarting from the defeat the BJP has inflicted upon it, then at least in public there is no indication of regret. 
The party's most charismatic vote getters, Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Vadra, are taking a virtual victory lap of Uttar Pradesh even as we speak, viewers. The Congress managers are smug in the knowledge that they denied Modi a clean sweep. In fact, the Congress routinely says that the BJP has lost the right to govern. This is, of course, an odd view to take given that the NDA has won the election fair and square. But let's just quickly recall what the Congress machinery has been saying. This is Jairam Ramesh. He said that the drum beaters will look for anything to justify Narendra Modi's pathetic electoral performance in 2024. That's Jairam Ramesh for you viewers. Rahul Gandhi says, voters have punished BJP. I was confident that the people of the country would give the right response, unquote. Viewers, let's open this up. This is a fascinating discussion because for the first time, for the first time, we can call a spade a spade if one wants to go there. RSS researcher, author, Ratan Sharda with us. Mr. Sharda, I don't believe that you could have been more honest in your assessment. I agree with a large number of points, and I'm sure that there are people here who, if they are well-wishers of the BJP, will agree with you. But Mr. Sharda, what drove you to this conclusion? Give us a bit of a background of your own assessment of the BJP's performance here. Hey, Rahul, uh, thanks for uh, having a discussion of that issue. And uh, this comes from the fact that I have been lifelong supporter of uh, Bharti Jansang, BJP. I have been critical many times, as you know, and I have not uh, ever tried to cut corners with my beliefs. And uh, the urge that BJP should remain strong and be in a powerful driver seat has made me write this because I had seen this during my last few you know elections were moving around in India for different reasons. I talked to various people, RSS, BJP, etc., and feeling was same that there is a lack of two-way communication between the uh, top leaders and the middle-level leaders and the uh, local people. And there is more of, you know, uh, the confidence of, uh, uh, you know, riding on uh, Modiji's shoulder rather than doing their own job on the work. This uh, selfie age workers, which I call them in my article, are people who believe that they can put some selfies with some leader, some person going to one area and claiming 10x uh, kind of returns where they have seen only success for the last 10 years. They have seen nothing but success. The very glare of Modiji's uh, victory has blinded at the fact that social media is not society. For that, mm -hmm. you have to go to meet people. When all the negative prop propaganda was going on, at that time, BJP workers didn't catch it or they didn't bother. Or when they, if they bothered, they passed it on the message. If they passed on the message, did the leadership get it? Because the serious fake news that has spread around for which BJP lost nearly 9 to 10 percent of SCST votes, lost nearly 23 seats, and Congress got a benefit of 53 seats, this extreme polarization of uh, Muslims vis-a-vis -vis breaking of the, the uh, you know, uh, Hindu society in caste was something that could have been seen by the people on the street that was missing. And as I said, the comfort that we'll be in anyway, because see, people like us have seen the worst times hmm. when getting 500 doors for Jansang was supposed to be an uh, achievement. Deposit bach kya, kya baat hai, kya baat hai. From there, the 19th, then thrown out of uh, Janta Party, insulted time and again, despite having worked for them with full force, that was first time we as youth really got disappointed that we believe that all these leaders had feet of clay. From there, uh, this 1984 C2 seats, yeah. rising to that particular uh, you know seat numbers, and RSS doesn't interfere. I'll give one example if you have less time. Uh, in 1984, when uh, uh, Vajpayee and Advani ji coined the slogan of Gandhi and Socialism, Rajmata Sindhya talked on the, on the dais itself and RSS people were very upset. They talked to Balasad Devras. They told them, what's going on, Balasad? Where did it come Gandhi and Socialism? Integrally, where did it come from? He said, see, they are our colleagues. They have worked hard for this party. They know what is right in politics. Let them do what they are, they are trying to do. And I'm very sure that after a pause, he said, within two, three years, they'll return to Hindutva. Then, of course, we know the history of Advani ji going... Uh, Though in the constitution so, uh, BJ... of the BJP, you still have the words Gandhian socialism. Yes, true. Yeah. But yeah. The, see, they have... To, the BJP has been able to reinvent itself, hmm. gone to the grassroots, hmm. change the entire scenario. You will also know that Advani ji, when he became president after the setbacks, he sought again RSS cooperation and RSS happily gave them the pracharak which they wanted that time. 
from there to the position where uh, sangathan mantri positions are lying empty where sangathan mantri have gone back yeah. so there is something which is not being appreciated by bjp workers themselves i have got calls from bjp from rss workers and they are very happy that somebody has put the issue you know, on the table for discussion i was going to ask you that sure what's been the BJP response leadership. ratan sharda ji what's been the response Tremendous. from the bjp i have been i have been i have been busy responding to rss work uh, you know bjp workers from the ground bjp workers mid level leaderships people who have been spokesperson they have called saying that bahut hi badhiya hai aapne acha kiya likha aur bahut karyakartaon ke man mein yahi hai and i get the big see we have been so sensitive to the ground workers emotions that we know in fact i was talking to the channel where somebody in mp last time when i went there said bahut bura haal hai bahut प्रॉब्लम है बीजेपी के लोग सड़क पर नहीं आ रहे काम नहीं कर रहे उनको पता है कि झक मार के संघ तो जिता ही देगा दैट इज द रीजन है सेट जो काम करना है बीजेपी को पोल बूथ लेवल पर और यू नो गेटिंग द पीपल ऑन टू वोट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम व्हाट आरएसएस डज इन वर्किंग पीपल टू गो मिस्टर शारदा यू नो दिस इज अल्यूरली डिफरेंट कल्चर बिकॉज आई नो दैट लॉट ऑफ अदर पीपल हु क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल द कांग्रेस पार्टी were labeled pushed into a corner reviled and then some were externed from the party as you know others remain suspended so i so want to ask you where does this openness or this desire to perhaps course correct stem from is this inherent sense of democracy or is just a um, a fear that you might actually lose power and that is what sort of you know self interest that drives you what is it exactly no, see in fact i believe that this this uh, small uh, you know this setback that bjp has received a blessing in this guys mm -hmm. i had believed that this kind of issues might erupt in 2029 luckily modi ji is around at 2024 and very sure they got time to recover and they'll bounce back and uh, as that's why i gave you the history of bjp is bouncing back and this idea of openly discussing issues has been culture of the rss also mm. though they believe in consensus for every resolution every discussion but before that there is huge discussion hmm. that is the reason i believe that this will be taken in the right spirit not one bjp leader has called me saying aapne kya likh dala that much i can tell you well that's that's very heartening to know because if you have to improve if you have to do better you've got to be able to basically assess the problem and the only way you can assess the problem <clears throat> is by holding up the mirror to yourself and asking the right questions which ratan sharda is doing effectively let me let me bring in uh, senior journalist uh, shekhar ayer who's covered of course uh, the bjp in his long glittering career mr raja gopalan of course another person who needs no introduction knows the bjp inside out let me bring you both of you gentlemen in first mr ayer uh, what makes the bjp different from other political parties in this in in this context specifically well uh, rahul ji uh, you know the fact that this has been a huge setback this is not going to be just forgotten or pushed under the carpet once the government settles down to work the prime minister and other bjp leaders are going to examine constituency wise assembly segment wise as to what has really happened where we were wrong where did we miss the message where did we uh, lose steam and what went wrong with our campaign where we hard on some issues did we neglect some issues or did we cause some reactions which backfired all those things are going to be gone into and one thing we must understand you know from the way i have interacted with rss leaders and their leadership whenever mohan bhagwat ji speaks his concern is not just the political setback for the bjp mm. it is also the social impact because rss is most concerned with what is happening in the society a election campaign of the sorts that we saw in 2024 what kind of impact that it leaves on the social polity see that is of bigger concern for instance his uh, remarks on manipur hmm. uh, it has been made out as if this is the first time he has spoken it is not so you know rss has had a number of interactions and feedback from manipur in fact they have a setup in imphal and there have been concern as to why the situation in manipur deteriorated to this extent hmm. particularly you know what has been happening the religious conversions in the northeast and also the the kind of uh, demographic impact in the valley and in the hills these are some issues that you know the fallout is political after some time but the social impact or the social reactions have started much before the political comes to the scene so 
coming back to the main question will bjp really do introspection yes will there be course correction yes and i can tell you something now the prime minister himself being a swayam sevak himself and a, a organizational man of the bjp he is not just going to forget this he has been tasks ahead particularly this 100 day program and things like that but deep down he is going to set time aside and what is the bjp chooses the new president all these things are going to go deep into losing seats like they did in uttar pradesh is not a small thing and also you know the kind of approaches they took in maharashtra bringing people from other parties now with where these all correct course because a point that i think there is an implicit message in mohan bagwachi's remarks is also you know politics is a means and if the bjp has to be a party with a difference which it was how it started but subsequently it has been found that some of the methods that bjp has adopted to win elections hmm. are no different from other political parties yeah. is this good in the long run these are some pointers which are implicit in mohan bagwachi's uh, latest remarks and and i can tell you one thing mm -hmm. rss role in elections as far as it's just they, they continue to seek 100% participation Well, I'll come to that. Of full water participation. We'll take That's that up. That's the only extent they run a campaign. Okay. Otherwise, we'll... they are not bothered about. Uh, you know, they don't distribute BJP bill notices to voters. They That's don't do that. True. They don't do that. No, we'll come to we'll come to the RSS role specifically in just a few moments. But Mr. Raja Gopal and the culture of selfless, self-critical introspection in the BJP is a little different from other parties, specifically. And why beat around the bush? Uh, specifically from the Congress, which is its uh, sworn rival. Why is this so? The, the reason is, Rahul, as I understood, and Shekhar must be more educated on that, because ahankar, the word Mr. Mahan Bhagat used, mm -hmm. is very terminology. And Mr. Narendra Modi's speech at Central Hall of Parliament after being elected, sabhyata. So, if you compare these two, I differ from Mr. Ratan Sharda, though he has a good intention. I also have a good intention. But as the things moved, RSS did not like the induction of congressmen into the party. Very clearly, I am telling you. Second thing, in 2014 to 2019, you inducted RSS ideologues as governors. You gave them space. But after that, In 2014 to 2019, the election of that and the induction of others, conglomeration also caused hot burns in the RSS mind. And J.P. Nadda's statement also aggravated further. And moreover, it is not the first time. Every Vijay Dasmi speech, Mr. Mohan Bhagwat has been wanting this ahankar to be controlled. You are and take opposition on board. And moreover, Mr. Raghur Shivachankar. Narendra Modi won with uh, 353 seats in 2019 to 2024, and the SPG withdrawal. And second thing, not invite Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi to the state banquets or PM residence, you know, functions. And moreover, the courtesy of Sonia Gandhi also went wrong because the family could not make out to Narendra Modi sitting in that. The vituperative angle of Mr. Rahul Gandhi, Ra Sonia Gandhi, Priyanka Gandhi also added more, and that created problem. Politically, I am telling you, mm. what Shekhar said about this, you know, uh, the ideologues of uh, yesteryears, but the short dearth of leaders. And moreover, I can vouch say, Mr. Rahul Shivashankar, Narendra Modi, Mr. Mohan Bhagwat, Mr. Amit Shah, and the new president of BJP will sit together once the election is made. And the general secretary in charge of the organization this time is going to be not B L Santosh. He played politics, you know. Hmm. I have B L Santosh. We cannot ignore that. Hmm. Karnataka lost because of B L Santosh. And you can't now. Now you can you can blame B L Santosh, but not that. RSS also distancing slowly from the culture of BJP because there are certain differences at the top level you have to iron out. That fatigue is there in the RSS as well as in the BJP, both. I can see that. So, therefore, coming to the real problem, yesterday, Mr. Mohan Bhattar, I expected Mohan Bhattar to announce, uh, appreciate that Narendra Modi induction of that one Christian in the ministry. It's all RSS uh, work. They didn't 
Kerala. That is why Narendra Modi recognized. If Mr. Mohan Bhagwat acknowledged that, it would have been a much more than his words of ahankar. Okay, it's interesting. But let me quickly ask you once again, uh, Mr. Raja Gopalan, you talked about accountability. Now, when was the last time that accountability was set uh, after a poll debacle? I think in the BJP, that culture is very, very strong, and we've seen it. Can you, for the viewers, give a few examples? It happened even the day before yesterday at the highest level, but not very open. Mm -hmm. They meet, talk, and everything, they exchange views. And second thing, Ratan Sharda also quoted Apki Bar Sarso Ki Par. Raghur Shiva Shankar, I want to say one thing. If that was not hyped, even we would not have got the 240. Yeah. The pathetic situation was there on ground level. And you can't ignore Yogi Adityanath, who has done human service. And moreover, RSS got all the issues settled. Ram Mandir, 370, triple talaq. Right. Now there is, except so, UCC. So so let me open this up because we also have a member of the Congress here with us who's questioning the BJP, questioning the NDA. But Mr. Kurian, let me ask you, the Congress might be questioning the BJP, but the BJP is questioning itself. It doesn't need your additional questions. It is already questioning itself, which is not the case for the Congress. Where is the Congress questioning itself? Where are the committees? Why doesn't this Chintan, Manthan, etc.? fructify an action in accountability in the Congress. Look, we need a strong opposition. The stronger the opposition, the greater and deeper and broader our democracy, and the more earnest will be the government in power. But the Congress is letting politics down in this country, democracy down in this country. Good evening, Rahul, uh, to my co-panelists on your debate and to your audience. I appreciate the fact that you know you have taken up this topic, uh, the statement that has come from Mohan Bhagwat, the RSS chief, and also appreciate. Uh, I respect uh, Ratan Sharda ji a lot. Uh, having uh, being our ideologists, we we you know we align with different ideologies, keeping that apart. I respect him as a senior author, and uh, it is really courageous of Ratan Sharda to come out in open and you know uh, making it public about the uh, to introspect uh, and to evaluate their performance uh, with respect to Lok Sabha. It's really appreciable. Uh, so I give him a thumbs up on that one. Having said that, you know, the statement that is coming from uh, the RSS chief Mohan Bhagwat that a true sevak should serve the people without being arrogant, without uh, arrogance and being arrogant. And uh, uh, also, and more importantly, maintain dignity. This is something, you know, th for those who can read between the lines, this is a bigger and a, and a bigger message for the senior leadership of the Bharatiya Janata Party. Having said that, I also appreciate the fact that, you know, Mohanji has gone on record to say that he calls for a re uh, resolving Manipur violence saying everyone should be over poll rhetoric. This is really appreciable of Mohan Bhagwatji. Although he has come out uh, in open in public domain mm. after a year or so, but really appreciate of the fact that, you know, he's questioning the Bharatiya Janata Party and the top leadership uh, on the top tier to, you know, take uh, cognizance about the Manipur issue because we all know that, you know, the mm -hmm. Prime Minister has still not been to the state okay. of Manipur and they have lost the Manipur, outer Manipur and inner Manipur right, Lok Sabha right. seat as well. So right. having said that, uh, as a Congress party, we are a strong opposition. We will ensure that, you know, we will live up to the expectations of the people at large. Although the NDA, uh, the India Alliance has got over 40 percent vote share. So we respect that mandate that has come come to us. No, but you also... You, oh, one second, one second. First of all, it's brilliant that you are so complimentary of the RSS today because it seems to serve your purpose. Look at your own boss, Rahul Gandhi. He has nothing good to say about the RSS. He compares it with the Taliban, the ISIS, and God alone, the Muslim Brotherhood, and says awful things about it abroad. So let's not be opportunistic. My question to you is very simple. Aapka manthan kab ho rai? When is your manthan happening? Why isn't it happening publicly? Why isn't George Kurian saying today that, look, Rahul Gandhi, you only took us to 99. You didn't win us this election 10 years after Mr. Modi has spent According to you, messing up the economy, messing up the internal security, messing up the defense of this country, messing up foreign policy, messing up interfaith relations, you still couldn't beat him. Where is the George Kurian asking this question of the Congress? Where are the George Kurians? Ra 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 I know one person. I asked him to come on the show today, Sanjay Jhaji. He remains suspended. He couldn't find the time, but he would love to have come. The point is, I want to ask you, George Kurian. Why do you ask you a question? 
let me let me come to that hmm. uh, on when many debates i have i have said publicly that you know the congress party has performed uh, not not up to the par excellence not up you know to the with respect to the uh, uh, with what respect to saying? rajasthan B you Telangana said you were going to win you said khata khat khata khat khata khat modi is gone uh, sata sat sata sat sata sat your boss was saying this now i'm asking you sir why didn't you deliver and why aren't you asking that question are you scared you said no, it takes a all, lot of courage why do yes. they take courage See, in the congress system i thought they are the guardians of democracy but it should be encouragement well, not courage we it's it's for everyone to know that you know the congress party has been in power for for uh, for this long years and the mistake that the congress party has done in the past which we don't want to repeat is the same mistake that the uh, the bharatiya janata party and the leadership is uh, is repeating so uh, no, 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 mr kurian no mr kurian please let's be honest put your hand on your heart are you disappointed by the fact that the congress got 99 yes or no yes i mean we, see we have no yes or no no yes, it's a I no mean, because we were you're not disappointed okay viewers in end of discussion that's it they're not disappointed 99 for them is 100 you know i'm not saying rahul you you know you're misquoting me i'm not saying we are not disappointed we are we have not live, live up to the expectation we were expecting 150 okay, so now i'm asking so you since you're saying you've no, not I'm lived not, up no hang on since now you're saying you've not lived up to the expectation why have you not lived up to the expectation what went wrong that is for the congress party to introspect because ah, as you i said see, now you know, that's the difference viewers it's very easy it's very easy to yeah. today suddenly start thumping the back of the rss because it suits your purpose because mr bhagwat has come across as a internal critic perhaps of mr modi he's saying a lot of things that the congress would love to say in fact the congress is saying but it's not asking its own leadership now ratan sharda how do you view this the congress is very thrilled by mr bhagwat by people like you see i am not getting into any tutu me i wrote an article 3 4 days before the last phase was over where i said can we return to same politics hmm. my idea was what mohan ji has said now that the, the, so much of bitterness i have seen rise in last 10 years on the tv studios which affects people impacts the people and this should stop that's what mohan ji has said mohan ji is a rss chief is not bjp chief hmm. he's bipartisan most of the time always making the you know right point and not pointing at anybody not mm. check anybody i'll just make one point ak antony wrote a report after 2014 debacle mm. that report was buried finally sun also went out and see i am not against defector somebody said i am rss is an app with defection my point was when somebody changes side the person has a, a obligation to say why he changed side mm. why he was wrong earlier on you see kripa shankar singh you see rk singh for example rk singh called bjp uh, rss yes. as terrorist organization hmm. kripa shankar uh, promoted rss ki sajish hmm. did they come back and say okay i am fine i have changed side this is the reason i made a mistake then it's fine hmm. when you don't go in line with the local cadre who has seen the worst of abuse of rss and everybody they are bound to be unhappy well when you give ticket to uh, you know ticket to 25% as defectors yeah. that's naturally the voter has punished out of 100 naturally naturally they lost naturally he what's the difference the otherwise happened. absolutely so i think ratan sharda more power to people like you more power to others in the bjp that are carrying out a dispassionate analysis and of course the larger ecosystem remember viewers the bjp hasn't lost this election it has come short of a mark that it set for itself and we had all begun to measure it against that mark now that mark was 400 par it is back in power the prime minister returns for the third time sets a record in his own name so viewers what the bjp is setting out to do is what most democratic parties set out to do which is ask the questions so that they can reform themselves and improve themselves so that they are better interlocutors between us and of course the issues that we want raised